those of you out there with the program will notice that uh, it's just listed as 650 Pro Twins, but for the whole season we've been running 125cc in with the Pro Twins. The air also continues over and shows the next race has been super light and 125, so it's pretty easy to work it out. The, uh, the 125s are off the tail end of the thing, the other ones with the noise on it. Might be a bit of confusion there with young Rogan Chandler is listed as number 15, run the last race as number 15, but now he's a New Zealand champion. They've peeled the five off the bike, and it's now he's wearing proudly the number one plate, the current new New Zealand superbike champion for the 125 GP class. So right now, uh, we don't have a printer up here in the commentary box, so Neil Ritchie's wandered over to go try and get some results of the first round of res racing because it's all down to points, and by the end of this race, we will know what is happening, and... Uh, Hello, a bit of drama out there. It looks like Dennis Charlotte is in second place. I'm having trouble seeing where the uh, second man about last place is. Maybe in about 15 place now. Bailey Perriton's already won two races this weekend. He needs to keep on winning if he wants to keep, take the championship for Dennis Charlotte. But he's way down in about 15th place, so no idea what happened there. Uh, Steve Bryan just is here as well. Have you any idea what happened to Andrew Stroud in that um, last Subite race? Andrew Stroud come in there in the um, warm-up lap and then went straight to and started from pit lane. It'd be nice to catch up with the gossip. We are in the nice lane over the other side of the track. There is Bailey Perriton carving up the field and Bailey currently goes through there in 16th place. So drama aplenty for that. Dennis Charlotte will be happy with that because, in fact, I said he was 16th place. Bailey Perriton is the fastest man on the track, putting in a uh, 106362. Oh, no, that won't be right, sorry. That'll be uh, an error in the timing. He may have started from pit lane. I would suspect he started from pit lane. But Bailey Perriton is already up to 8th place. That is 8th place on the track, but 6th place in the Pro Twin class. A battle out the front, it is Ben Rosendale, the new, the current New Zealand former, uh, sorry, Pro, uh, Pro Twins champion out in the front there with the man about glass machine, Dennis Charlotte, the uh, new lightweight uh, champion for 2016. Got another championship right in front of his sights. Could be this race, could be the next race. It could be Bailey Perriton. It's all down to the wire in the second race, but uh, Dennis Charlotte on the man about glass. Pro Twin S3650 there in second place. And Nathan Jane. Nathan is uh, on the 97. So he's one of the highlights of the season for me. You see him down south, caught up with these guys, and he uh, set lap records at various stages at two of the tracks down south. And what's more exceptional is his first season on the bike uh, at the, a lot of these tracks. But what's more exceptional, he doesn't even run things like a power commander, which is just a tuning device to up the specs. All fully legal and all that, but all the other boys are running it, and uh, and he's not even running it. So Nathan Jane, wow, what a dream first season for him, and uh, certainly great guy to have around the track. The battle is on out the front. Dennis Charlotte has got into the lead. It was a lap ago. It was Ben Rosendale. Didn't quite see where it happened, but uh, Dennis Charlotte needs all the points to uh, retain his championship lead. As I mentioned, there's Bailey Perriton up there, 2 4, fifth place. He's going to reel in fourth place as well. He needs all the points to try and get his first Pro Twin championship. I think that's Rogan Chandler in uh, second place in the 1 2 5. Certainly last lap it showed up that. Uh, Chris Wallinger was uh, leading that class, but no, Rogan Chandler is now wearing the number one, and uh, he is leading the 125 Grand Prix class. So the battle is on. Dennis Charlotte, Ren Rosendale pulls up the side, and we've got to have a look at the timing screen. And that is 58 thousandths of a second, 0 0.0058 of a second. And uh, the battle is on out the front. Uh, Ben Rosendale wearing the number one plate. He's got back in front now. Going to the Hamilton Ashfield corner. And it is the black bike, the black SV out in the front. So Dennis chasing hard. Don't put Nathan Jane out of the pitch as well. He may be 15 bike lengths in behind as we see number 23 and 27. A 125 and a pro twin going across the start finish line. Out of the Pepsi Max corner. Six, seven bike lengths. Dennis is trying up on the inside. No, he settles in behind. Difference in speed of these two bikes down the straight is very, very little. Dennis is almost in a position there where he can slipstream. Down that centre straight, coming in towards the middleman corner. He closes in. It's a little bit faster down there. Part of that might be the bike. Part of it might be the slipstreaming. The drive out of the corner, whatever. But round that big sweeper, there's a match there. 14, 15, maybe 16 bike lengths. It still is Ben Rosendale coming over the brow of the hill. 
this is the uh, New Zealand TT title as well. It's a New Zealand Championship points race, but it's also the New Zealand Tourist Trophy title. So right now the podium sits with Ben Rosendale, Dennis Charlotte and Nathan Jane. Don't forget who's in fourth place either on the track, and it is Bailey Perriton. In fact, Bailey Perriton, no, Bailey Perriton slipped down to fifth. Oh, we got a bit of confusion here. Rogan Chandler's showing on the timing as being out in the front. Certainly with the 125, that's not as quick as the other machine. So, Rogan Chandler somehow. In fact, no, it's gone back. It's reset itself. Ben Rosendale, Dennis Charlotte, Nathan Jane, Bailey Perriton has put in a 110.014. He's nearly half a second quicker. In fact, he's 0.7 of a second quicker than Dennis Charlotte. We have six laps to go, six laps to go. So, it may be that uh, Bailey Perriton can reel in those top two bikes and certainly looking out on the centre of the track, they're side by side going into the middle man. It is Charlotte, uh, Rosendale, but there's half a bike then. The Dennis is right in behind there. Nathan Jade in third place. But another six laps with half a second quicker. Bailey Perriton might just be able to reel in those top two bikes. What an amazing finish it will be to the New Zealand TT for the Pro Twins class. Don't forget the one, two, fives over there. Charlotte goes through the start finish line there. Seven laps to go. Rosendale there in the lead. In fact, no, Rosendale in the second place. He's got the white leathers. Lock it in, Eddie. Lock it in. Sorry, Spider. I just... Uh, <laughs> been a long weekend, it's just getting longer. There it is, half a bike length as they go into the Hamilton Nationals. They go out of sight of the commentator's box, and it is Charlotte in the lead now, and Rosendale in second. Nathan James there, Bailey Perriton is hunting them down. Neil Ritchie's on it. In fact, I see Neil Ritchie running through there, waving out with the results. We will have the current points there, and that's for all the classes, of course, but right now we're trying to concentrate on what's on there, because there's a New Zealand Championship title at stake here, but I think it's going to go down the wire in the second race. It will be between the two men about glass bikes, with Aaron Sorrell owning those bikes and supplying those bikes to this team. But who will it be? I don't know. We're just going to wait towards the end of the day, but right now the New Zealand TT, the Toy Corner's there, and uh, Nathan Jane hunting down that uh, bike in the front there, the 33 machine of Dennis Charlotte. Dennis is an old fox, has been around for years and years, but Nathan... Jade is lining them up as well. Here we go, four bike leads in it. A little bit quicker. Ben Rosendahl pulls up on the outside, tries to go right. In fact, I can't see. They were side by side as they disappeared out of sight. We're looking over to the Hamilton Ashridge corner. The turn two. Who's it going to be? It is... It is Ben Rosendale. Ben Rosendale out in the front with Charlotte in there. Nathan Jane's closing in too. Nathan's closing in. In fact, there's Bailey Perriton right on the tail of Nathan Jane. So it looks like that Bailey started out of pit lane, gone all the way from the back of the field. And by the time they get out of the Pepsi Max corner, yes, indeed, Bailey Perriton, the uh, teenager from... No, is he, uh, the young man, the young man from somewhere in the South Island. I don't know where it is, Hines or something like that. Imagine telling you people that he lived in a place called Hines. Where do they get a name like that? But anyway, Bailey is up into third place, pushed Nathan Jane down into fourth. So the battle is still going on. We've got uh, how many laps to go? We've got Neil Ritchie coming over with the results. Four laps to go. What a dramatic finish it'll be. Rosendale breaks three. It's still a two blue bikes, second and third. I don't know, Dennis, will we know, even know that this bike's coming through here, so Dennis might get a bit of a surprise. He may not have even known that uh, uh, Bailey started from pit lane. There it is, trying up on the inside. Uh, ba Bailey's there. Bailey's almost there. In fact, the gap between uh, first and second is bigger than the gap between second and third. We are coming across one of the uh, slower bikes. So there it is, Bailey Perriton up on the inside of the Hamilton Ashfield corner. It's a championship at stake here in the next two races. Mate, we've seen two finishes where Dennis Charlotte has won by three thousandths of a second this season. This is the tightest race you get. I'm sorry, folks. I'm almost forgetting about the one, two, fives out there. No disrespect as we hear the IMD 250 going through there. A lapper on there for the Pro Twins. And Bailey takes the lead. Bailey Perriton takes the lead. Uh, that was a bit of an advantage from the lapper, I think. And uh, or No, that's Ben Rosendale there. And I think Ben won't give up here at all. Here we go. Neil Ritchie's coming up with the points. Neil's got the points here. So uh, as we went into this, Rogan Chandler. We see him wearing the number one plate because he's the current new New Zealand champion. We've got Ashley Weller on 100. 178 points, Chris Kane on uh, uh, 150 points, and Chris Wallager on 118 points, but the um, four points separate uh, Dennis Charlotte and Bailey Perriton. Four points 
So it won't go down to the wire here unless we have a uh, dismounting of one of the riders. Four points, Bailey Perriton on 222, Dennis Charlotte on 226. Ben Rosendale's not in the picture really, he's on the picture in the track, but he's got 161 points. Nathan Jane on 116 points, Dean Bentley's out there on 98 points so it is going down to the wire and Neil Ritchie you've missed one of the best races of the day in fact can we even see uh, I can't, Dean Bentley's right down there in 12th spot Dean not having the best of seasons this year there it is Bailey Perriton is cutting it loose he's cutting it loose he knows he's going to get 25 points sitting here and it's going to be 16 points so this will change it and he will lead the New Zealand championships subject to a finishing of course subject to a finishing this rate Neil Ritchie and uh, Spider, appropriate to point it. And, uh, and very appropriate to point out as well, of course, a TT title. So we've got another uh, national title on the rocks for this uh, round. So uh, TT title, tourist trophy title, up for grab with the Orca Motorcycle Cup. There we go, Bailey Perrin on the front. Going to uh, Ben Rosendale. Proud to have the number one on his bike as he uh, holds on to uh, the championship uh, uh, for, uh, what, well, maybe, yes, one more race. It will be one more race. Narrows to margins and, uh, well, what a day for Bailey Perrin. And we saw at the South Island tracks where Bailey and Dennis locked in jewels. One of the races decided by three one thousandths of a second. I'll tell you what, there wasn't much more than the depth of the tread on the front tyre left as they uh, crossed the line. But it's uh, been generally Dennis Charlotte that squeezed that advantage on uh, most of the equations. But uh, now it's Bailey Perrin on his own and doing it so well. Has had his all his own way through the series, but uh, he's come to the big one here. The new young gun. Already 250 production championship uh, accolades uh, to his name, but he certainly wants to add this one. And Pro Twin and courtesy of Aaron at Man About Glass, your glazery specialist from Canterbury, proud to be sponsoring the two of them. You'll see the two bikes. They've got two unique paint jobs. You can pick them up with uh, Dennis and Bailey. They're both from the same team. They have a lot of respect for each other. You've got the, uh, the mentor and Dennis Charlotte and the new young gun and Bailey Perrin. And he's certainly coming of age and uh, about to change the overall lead and dynamics with a race to go. But more importantly, the TT title. And here it is on the line. The TT title on the line. Bailey Perrin to win the TT. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's going to be a change. Might have been a change back there as well. How close was that? I think Dennis took his eye off the ball. He did. He took his eye off the ball. He has gone back to fourth place. Nathan Jane, Nathan Jane, this young gun, he's uh, probably, uh, I think, Spider, we've talked about him at other prize givings, and particularly we gave him credit at Teratonga and then again at Levels. He's been our uh, best rookie performance this year. And uh, there's an example of it to beat a legend, um, somebody of uh, Dennis Charlotte's racing ability on the line. There was probably not much more again than the depth of the tread on the front tyre. So Nathan Jane, one of the standout riders this year. And there it is, the TT title for Bailey Perrin and the lead still with a race to go. Super close. Yeah, definitely. We went into that race with uh, just four points for two of them. I'm not going to do the calculation, but certainly the drama with, with Nathan Jane pushing Dennis back to fourth place. Mate, uh, a lot of work for that next race for Dennis Charlotte, and uh, just play it safe, play it safe. He's already got one championship under his belt at the moment, and uh, what a massive race. And a great race there with a 125 class. And Rogan Chandler again, perfect score this weekend, perfect score in the whole championship series. I saw he get uh, someone else get in front for a brief time yesterday, but Rogan Chandler, one point for each of the rounds, four points for qualifying the fastest each of the round, and a clean set of 25. So maximum 254 points just going into this race. So.